Hello world, welcome to Farm the Market. On the stock trading journal series, I share with you some of my trades. I will not explain a given strategy in depth or claim that I have the quote unquote epic strategy that beats the market every time. I just hope it's a good exercise for me, where I get to analyze some of my trades deeply by explaining them to you. After all, you know what they say, if you want to understand something well, try to explain it simply. And hopefully for you, by looking step by step to examples of real trades, you might find interesting some of the techniques or adjustments I use on my trades, and this might help you in your journey to develop your own trading skills. This time we will take a look into a trade on Netflix. Let's get started. For context, it had been a rough couple of weeks for the market in general. Relevant corrections in almost every sector, especially in tech, and a significant increase in volatility across the board. On January 21st, the front two months of the big futures curve went into backwardation. This usually accentuates a hostile environment for the market in the short term. The backwardation streak lasted for five trading days, until it broke on January 28th. This by itself doesn't mean that the market is all good again, but it gave me a reason to believe we could have a window of opportunity for a relief rally. So, it was a good opportunity to look for severely hit stocks that might be close to relevant technical levels. One of those stocks was Netflix. Looking at the broader picture, in the weekly chart, Netflix was trading with high volume pretty much at the level of an ascending support line that has been going on for years. This within a drawdown of almost 50% accentuated by the last earnings report. Looking at the daily chart, Netflix managed to hug this line closely during the week. With this framework in mind, I decided to open a long position on Netflix on January 28th. The target was dictated by the latest gap, and for the stop loss, I decided to go a bit under the latest intraday low. This implied a risk-reward ratio of around 4. Very appealing. The next day, Netflix gapped up and had a very strong day. Given how unstable the market had been, I decided to take the opportunity to take some profits right away. I sold half of my position and moved up the stop loss just below what was at the moment the intraday low. Looking back, I wish I had waited until the close to sell, but it is what it is. It's great when trades go your way right away. Now, with the new stop loss, the trade was in a win-win scenario, assuming no big gap downs, of course. On February 1st, Netflix once again had a really strong day. This time, I did wait to be closer to the market close, and there were no signs of Netflix weakening into the close. However, in just two days, Netflix managed to almost close half of the gap. So, I decided to sell the position and take profits. What will happen tomorrow? Who knows? Netflix could keep blasting higher, consolidate, or drop and test the trend line again. I would love for Netflix to retest the trend line or consolidate. That might be a good opportunity to get back in. The only certain thing is that I hadn't reached a nice profit in just two days and I decided to take it. Also, it's important to remember I started this trade with the framework of a relief rally, so the window of opportunity is usually small on those. Better move fast and take a profit than just watch the market turn back on you. If you found this information useful and interesting, please don't forget to like this video. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, so you don't miss future videos. Remember that everything presented here is for educational purposes only. Thanks for your time.